Uh, hello all, welcome to the uh, introductory section of the EXTJS. EXTJS is basically it's an extension JS, it's a library created uh, on the basis of JavaScript DOM object and uh, to, uh, in this uh, tutorial we'll be covering the introductory of EXTJS, how the EXTJS came into the market and I mean how, why this EXTJS is getting so famous to create the rich UI application and uh, some of the features of EXTJS. So uh, we'll be starting the introductory session. So in this chapter, I mean, we'll be covering the basic of EXT, what it can do for us, about the elegance of the architecture of EXT, just on like what other JavaScript can do and what EXTJS can do. And uh, we'll be covering the topic as the libraries, EXT handle the foundation for you. So with only few lines of code you can get the rich UI and you can get the fully functional rich UI user interface in your application. So as I mentioned that uh, this is an introductory uh, session for the EXTJS. So we'll be coming what EXTJS and why we're loving it, how to get EXT and how to start in your application. And uh, EXT basically uses the adapters. So we'll be covering adapters in the uh, later in this tutorial so that one can know what how ext is using the adapters and how it uses the ajax to get and i'll sort some of the samples and you can see as a sample i mean you can see the panel another panel and creating some doc panels just like these feeds where all these panel entries mentioned and from the right you can see the other thing so so ext i mean gives this kind of rich user interface with the minimum effort and minimum code okay so to create uh, this panel in in uh, legacy system just like use, if you're using just html and javascript you apply you have to write tons of codes for that creating the rich ui writing some extensive c's cascading style sheet css file that is and uh, writing too much javascript and here we can see, I mean, we can create this panel, I mean, not even half, uh, more than half an hour because EXTJS come with all this feature in building it to create panels, create windows, to calling the Ajax call and all these things. So this is one of the example that uh, uh, EXT can provide to make your uh, application is much more reachful. Uh, I can give another example. You can see as there's a window and if I, I mean, Basically, uh, I mean, you can see all the docked panel, these are the panels, and these are the panels, and this is the grid functionality that we are, uh, that EXT is providing. So, this feature in EXT is providing, and uh, all these panels, windows, create, all this you can create uh, with the minimal effort of the code that EXT is providing. So, what exactly ext is and as i mentioned it is not just another uh, javascript library that means uh, it basically is came from the uh, emergence came from the yui then it is turned with the ext so ext i mean uh, it works along with the javascript using the adapter as i mentioned that adapters are the main uh, heart of the ext we'll see later in this tutorial how uh, this adapter works to connect the javascript and uh, in uh, our normal scenario that our website that especially uh, the website which has the rich ui we have the requirement of high level of user interaction some more complex websites as you can see i mean uh, i can give an example like creating a task to do application in this every panel every information is required to create so there's a high level of user interaction is required in these those kind of application so ext what it does it makes the web application development simple by providing easy to use cross border compatibility widgets just like windows grid and forms so every uh, these things are already created we just have to pass our parameters so that it can directly create a form create a window create a grids on a fly we don't have to write tons of codes create our rich user interface and uh, some key features of ext that i can say that uh, it is i mean it has the cross border compatibility so any browser can work with the ext codes 
ext basically following event driven interface event uh, i can say s something which you do is a call an event just like if you're clicking on some buttons if you're clicking on some links every clicks that you're doing is an event so as a definition i can say event describe when a certain action happens just like you're clicking on a buttons clicking on some links and just like that the event could be a user action such as click on element or it could be a response to an ajax call ajax as a name is a asynchronous javascript call that ext is also providing inbuilt uh, support for that ajax we don't have to much worry about how a response and request needs to be sent we just ext provide ext ajax feature that one has to use so that it can leverage the ajax benefits into our ext applications coming back again to the events when a user interacts with the buttons there's a reaction with not just one with many events happening there's an event for cursor hovering on the button and event for cursor clicking on button and an event for cursor leaving the button all these are example of how events are happening in our application so everything which you're doing just like any action you're doing on your application is an event uh, we can add every i um, mean whatever we are doing some action we can add some listener so that it executes that particular events and it execute that block of the code and later uh, i'll show the in the code how these events are created and how one can create our custom functionality on that event listener so listening for a event is not strictly related to the user interface there are also system events happening all the time when we make ajax calls there are events attached to the status of ajax call to listen to start completion and the failure so what it means so whenever your application is performing some ajax calls suppose on a click of a button some grid needs to be refreshed some so in that case we have every ajax have some events less like start completion success failure so whatever the request is coming from the server the listener is listening the response and the basis of the response it starts the code for i mean in which it needs to be executed uh, continuing with the events interacting with the user and the browser via event manager responding to the user keystroke mouse clicks monitoring events in a browser such as window resize or font resize communicating with the server in a background without need to refresh the page that is the ajax this allow you to request or post data to from web server ajax process and the feed in real time so all these things which you have i mean just now has said is example for the event and how each and every event is important in our application because suppose we wanted to have some functionality and if we're clicking on some page some suppose i'm clicking on grid to get that particular row data in the form of light box just like a uh, light box is another example of the windows in in the ext i mean if you click on some row it the flashy row comes as a form that is i can say is a pop up kind of pop up that in build is providing so what i mean to say is what whenever we are clicking on some button some link hovering mouse clicking on window double clicking on window resizing all these are events and ext provide event manager i mean just like adding the listener to each and every event and we can write our own function and what functionality we wanted to perform with that particular event to be happen so this is what the ext is providing where to start and uh, what needs to be done to get the ext as i mentioned to writing we don't have to write tons of code to get the all the functionality needed so i am very much sure that you will be loving this and with with a few lines of code and uh, some inbuilt css inbuilt javascript and the functionality is already been created for you you just have to leverage that particular fun functionality given by the ext so the things that you need to care before starting the ext application so as i 
as I have shown in the code, there are few steps that we need to perform. There is a ext all CSS file. There is a ext base dot js that is the uh, adapter that which we are talking, and there is a ext all debug dot js. So this is the main uh, and the order of inclusion of this ext is much important because there are code written in the ext adapter that is required by ext all debug.js and if we I mean I told you if we change the order so what happened ext is initialized and ext adapter is using before the ext adapter is initialized since ext j all debug is needing some of the ext base functionality so once it is loaded it will throw us some kind of error that ext is undefined and all kind of thing that we when we do then I will show you how this error is coming and uh, we can show how this imports can create an issue if you are not uh, importing this uh, in a particular order that is ext is required so this is the three lines that we need to include in our application and we are ready to use the ext functionality